didn't have a prototype in the yeah. back at the time? Well, what's interesting, what, what, what's hard to remember now is that Microsoft wasn't in the applications business then. The, they took a big bet on the Mac because they, this is how they got into the apps business. I mean, Lotus dominated the apps business on the PC back then. Right, we had done just Multiplan, yeah. which was a hit on the Apple II, and then Mitch did an incredible job betting on the IBM PC, and 123 came in and you know, ruled that, that part of the business. So the question was, what was the next paradigm shift right. that would allow for an entry? Word Perfect, we had Word, but Word Perfect was by far the strongest in word processing, DBase, and database. And Word was, a, that was a kind of a DOS, a text. All of, the, all of these products I'm saying were DOS-based right. products because Windows wasn't in the picture at the time. Right. That's more in the early 90s that, that we get to that. And so we made this bet that the parent time shift would be uh, graphics interface, and in particular that the Macintosh would make that happen with 128K of memory, 22K of which was for the screen buffer, uh, 14K was for the operating system, so it was... Uh, 14K, <laughs> yeah, 14K. Yeah. The original Mac operating system was 14K. 14K that uh, we had to have loaded when our software ran. So when the shell would come up, it had all the 128K. The OS was, the OS was bigger than 14K. It was in the 20s somewhere. <laughs> I see. So when we ship these, no, we ship these computers now with you know, a gigabyte, two gigabytes of memory. And, and nobody remembers. 128K. I remember that. I remember, I remember paying a lot of money for computers with 128K yeah, in those days.